In today's video, I'm taking you to Goodwill in Shakopee, Minnesota, and then at the end of the video, I'll show you what I brought home. Here we go. I am here at a different Goodwill today. I'm in Shakopee, I'm meeting a friend, and I wanna see what I can find. I've never been to this one before. I've been on the hunt for some lamps to replace some other lamps that I have in my family room. I've been looking for ones that are like a wrought iron. So that's what I was looking for here. I didn't find, I mean, I saw some, but it wasn't quite the type I wanted, but that's what I was looking for here. I do also always look for lampshades because lampshades wear out and they get holes in them. And if I find good ones for cheap, I like to pick them up. I thought this table might be pretty to redo, but I just can't get past hearts these days. <laughs> it's just not a motif I really want in my house right now. At first I thought this might be an ottoman that opens up, but turns out it wasn't. I like to look for artwork. I thought these vintage prints of ballet dancers were beautiful. I did not want to pay $10 a piece at Goodwill though. I'm sure they're probably worth it if you were buying them at a vintage shop, but I wasn't buying them at a vintage shop. like this but it has like I think mold growing I don't know if you can see it but between the pieces of glass because it's multiple pieces of glass I think that's a bummer it's kind of cool don't have room in my house for that and it's wobbly but I think you put the wine glasses and wine bottles here I've not seen this done before where they actually set a table that's kind of cool Gorgeous. You did? Look at this transfer work. 99 cents. That's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? It's I don't green. really do green, but it's pretty. What company is it? I can't see it. Okay. I can't tell. It kind of, I'm not sure. It looks like Staffordshire, but. Oh, does that say? I might say Wedgwood. The ivy leaves on these dishes were very similar to the Franciscan leaves. Obviously, I know they aren't Franciscan, but I'm sure they're vintage. I just couldn't see the company. And I have not been able to find more of my Gibson plates, but I do keep finding the very similar pattern from Mikasa. The problem with these is that they have like a grayish tint, grayish blue tint in their glaze, and I really don't want that. But I really wanted to have enough dishes to set my Thanksgiving table. So I might have to go to plan B on the white dishes that I'm collecting. Might have to, uh, I don't know, start picking up some other different pattern. I do collect stoneware cheese crocks. Mine are by a certain company. This one looked like a souvenir piece. Mm -hmm. 
These are mid-century salad forks. I definitely should have picked them up and I'm not sure why I didn't. I've been kind of drawn to these wooden jewelry boxes lately. I've seen people use them in decor, not just for jewelry. So maybe I need to look on Pinterest and get some more ideas of how I could redo and reuse them. But I don't know, I've been really enjoying looking at them. I love cribbage boards, but I have quite a collection at this point. I thought this vintage jewelry box was really cute. $4.99, I can definitely do better. And it wasn't in terrific shape on the front, but I did think it was really cute. You could set this open on a shelf and put collectibles or be farmhouse beads in it and that would make a nice display. I also really liked this wooden box, although I had trouble opening it. And when I once I opened it, I realized, oh, this is actually just a hobby piece and it didn't actually close very well. I love this clock, but it's really heavy. Oh my goodness. This is cute. This is in rough shape. What's this? Okay, this is funny. Quarter pounder, ha ha ha. That's really funny. I bet Gabe would like that. Not for $3, but that's funny. My friend has found more of this pattern, and it is Wedgwood. It says Enoch Wedgwood Kent. They don't sell for a ton, but they're really pretty. I might pick up a few to sell. This reminded me of a Longaberger piece. There was a period of time where they did a lot in wrought iron paired with their baskets. I'm not sure if it was, but that's what that reminded me of. I always look at the metal pieces at Goodwill, but I feel like pretty standard across most of the Goodwills, their metal aisle is very overpriced. And it's something I like to use in my home decor, but I can do better at other places. I don't know what it is about Goodwill and pricing those things high. really like this, but let's see a price. I thought this, I guess it's a swan. It was not attractive, but it was vintage and I thought it was interesting. It's a teapot. The paint job on it was pretty bad. So I don't know if it's a hobbyist piece or what, but it was interesting.
I'm not doing roosters anymore, but I thought these were really cute. I considered putting them in my shop, but I really haven't even been able to sell rooster things. So I guess maybe right now they're just losing their popularity. I don't know, but I left those behind. I do like to look at these little cherub statues because my mother collected them and I have a small portion of her collection. So I always check them out when I see them. And this little cherub caught my eye from all the ones that were there because it does have a fall motif and I don't have any in my mother's original collection with a fall motif. Okay, is this a character I don't know about? It's kind of funny. Kind of funny. Yeah. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that, is so cute. Very adorable. This piece caught my eye because cardinals sell very well for me but it wound up having a little nick on the side that's what i was showing you here and you know i don't like to sell things with nicks i'm looking for a clock because the one in our bathroom went kaputski but I forgot to bring my batteries. If I found a good deal, I would just risk it, but this one's pretty. Oh, $9. I could do better on a new one with a coupon. And it's not like it's real wood, it's just plastic. Okay, it's another day and another Goodwill. That one was okay. Um, I do go down to Shakopee a lot. There's a lot of retail down there that I like, and they have a great Dollar Tree and great Joann's, but I had never been to that Goodwill. I'm not sure I would really go back. Eh, I wasn't thrilled with their prices, to be honest. I thought they were kind of high, and I didn't get very much. So I got one thing to sell and one thing to keep, and then my friend Katie, who I was with, bought me something. The thing about that Goodwill is it's right down the street from my new favorite little thrift store, um, the Cap Agency Thrift Store. One of you said you work in the building. I love that place. And so I'll definitely go back down to there. So maybe I will go back down to the Shakopee Goodwill when I'm down at the Cap Agency. Um, it wasn't until this trip that I realized like how close together they are. And it's literally like two minutes. So I'll probably go back because of that. But other than that, I really, huh, I wasn't that impressed. So, I mean, it was fine, but it wasn't like, like there's this one in Bloomington. I haven't taken you in the series there yet. I love that one. That one is a standout in my mind, or at least it was before the pandemic. The prices are great. So, but Shakopee, I was like, that will definitely not stand out in my mind. It wasn't awful, but it wasn't like, huh. anyway. Anyway, so that's my assessment. I've come away from doing like formal assessments in the video series of the Twin Cities Goodwill Crawl, and it's just a lot of work. <laughs> so that's my assessment on the, sh the Shakopee Goodwill. I'm drinking coffee. It's the afternoon and the dogs are barking because my daughter Maddie, Maddie is still home. She has a friend over and they're on the back deck. So I'm here in the G-Rage and I'm just gonna film this quick little haul. So really there's not very much to show you. Um, the one thing I got for myself was this. And I mentioned in the video, my mother, my mom, Betty was her name, Elizabeth, but Betty is what she went by, has had a collection of these. And now I have them. So I don't add a ton to them. I'm not trying to make it like a huge collection, but if I see one that's really different, I pick it up. And this one I thought would be really cute somewhere in my house for my fall decor. And then I'll put it back with the collection. So the collection kind of stays in a little um, closet that I have downstairs with like some special things um, to me. And that I don't necessarily want to display all the time, but they're just special. So that's where like the collection lives all the time. But sometimes I'll pull some out, like if I have Christmas ones or now I have a fall one. So that's what I will use that for. It will go in a display somewhere in honor of my mom. Then to sell, I picked these up just because they were so pretty. They're Enoch Wedgwood Tunstall Limited Kent. And they're just these little berry bowls. And I just picked up four of them. I thought that would be a cute item to have in my shop. They are in very good shape. Um, 
except for the glaze on one of them is kind of a little crack. There's a little crazing. I don't even know if you can see it, but there at the top, it's very faint, but up here you can kind of see there's like longer, uh, like crazing, crack, cracking in the glaze. I mean, it's not like, it's not a chip or anything. It's just the glaze that happens over time. So that's the one flaw I see on these, but I thought these would be really pretty, even as like a stack in someone's decor. And then you can also, you know, use them if you want, but I just thought they were really pretty. I'm getting away from buying bigger dishes because um, people don't want to pay to ship them. <sighs> so I'm not going to really buy like big sets of dishes, but something like berry bowls, you know, like if you're like me, I like to buy like different patterns of the smaller dishes and kind of pair them with my white dishes. So I don't know. We'll see. And if nobody buys them, I won't feel bad about having them in my own personal collection. So, okay. And then the other thing I have, my friend Katie bought for me, and it's just this cute little home co figurine to go in my little miniature rodents collection, which I really need to show you guys at some point, but I thought this was adorable. She surprised me with it. She showed it to me when we were shopping and then she bought it and gave it to me at the end. So I thought that was really sweet. So thank you, Katie. I love him. And he um, will have a lovely home with his friends on my little shelf. So that's it. That's all I have to show you today. It's a very small haul, but you know, I try not to just buy things just to buy them. And um, yeah, I will have um, several videos coming up for you. I'm getting a little backlogged on my hauls, so I'm trying to catch up, but work has been so busy. Family life has been busy and you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm doing my best. So anyway, I hope you're all doing well and having a, a fantastic finish to your weekend. And um, I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.